Hi everybody, I wanted to share this week's project with you. We took a wine cooler and converted it into an incubator. As you can see, we installed a fan and a 60 watt light bulb. I've been messing with it for about a week. See, okay. The heat just dropped below 99.5, so it kicks on. And once it gets to 100.5, it kicks off. I've watched it all day, and the temperature does rise to about 101.1 to 101.5, and then it slowly decreases. About 99.8, it kicks back on. I've added some water bottles down here at the bottom just to take up space and to keep the constant warm temperature in the bottles. I also added some foil and some Christmas lights. I read on a forum, Christmas lights put off a lot of heat. So I've tried and attempted many different things. I tried to wrap the wine racks with the hardware cloth. That didn't work. It wouldn't fit past that little nipple right there. I tried laying the egg cartons directly on the wine racks. That does work. It works well. However, the fan isn't circulating the air and keeping a good temperature on each shelf. So the bottom would be 102, the top would be 102, and then the middle of the two middle rows here would be about 98. So like I said, I've messed with it all day long trying different things, and I know it's going to be different once I put eggs in it. Let's talk about what we have here. Bought the Will High temperature control. It's about $30 on Amazon. It's almost exact temperature. It's off by 0.1 at the most. What I did, and I'll include pictures later, I gutted the whole back of this refrigerator. I took everything out, and I used the existing holes to run in the temperature probe. I used the existing holes up there at the top. There's two of them. One to run the wire for the fan, and one to run the wire to porcelain light. I savaged this out of the underneath of the wine cooler. My husband rigged up a little bracket for it so it's pretty close to the plastic rack holder but just don't put your hand there it'll cut you. That is where the temperature probe comes through. I made sure it's not obstructed in any way in the back. It comes in with the white wire, as you can see. I'm still in the testing process, and that is the temperature probe. The way it works, it's a very long cord, and it plugs in to this regulator. It's so easy to program. Because I wanted to add a second strip of lights, I went ahead and added a little circuit breaker so I can have two lights on it. So I took the two lights onto here and I plugged that in. Then that's plugged into the wall. And then the fan, we wired up back to the plug for the refrigerator with some electrician's help. And that's running the fan. I've tried adding another fan to the bottom to circulate the air up. However, uh, as we know, the heat rises. And like I said, I could not get the warmer air to the mid sections with the egg cartons. So for now, I'm going to use the hardware cloth. I'm going to load it with eggs and I'm going to have to hand flip them three times a day. Not a big deal. I love doing it. I love being part of it. But stay tuned right there and I will be right back with all my eggs. Okay, I've got my eggs. For the sake of separation, I think I'm going to use each shelf for my different thought process. These are my eggs. 
You can't tell because they're in a green container, but they are blue eggs. And then my darkest laying, the roux is a blue layer, so these should hopefully be green layers once they're pulled. This is a barred rock mixed with a frizzle. Then my friend Janie was so gracious and gave me some eggs from her sister's farm. These are random eggs, and I'm excited to find out what they are. And then these are well summer eggs, and the blue one, the Americanas, are actually in with a well summer roux. So if these are girls, they will lay a dark green egg. And then my beautiful neighbor Tina, T for Tina and also T for Titan. Her Easter eggers are from my Titan rooster and my hens from last year, and I lost him, so I'm trying to incubate some from Titan. Most of them will be gray, as all were all his offspring. And then these are from Tina as well. These are her darkest brown eggs that are in with Romeo, who's going to be a blue layer as well. So these should be making green babies. My Polish have died off on their laying because of the weather. So I've got a silver laced, a silver laced, a silver laced. And this one I cracked, but I have been successful. They say if you take candle wax and it hasn't broke through the barrier, if you immediately fill it with candle wax, that it's gonna be viable and live. And it's true, I've done it before. So I've got four silver laces. Okay. Janie's eggs are in there, and there is, I believe, 21. On to the next shelf. Got my shelf in there. There's 24 eggs. Okay, and I've got Tina's 17 on the top. As the, as the days go on, I will mark them as I turn them. Just for the sake of this video, I didn't want to take the time to do that. The only thing left are these four silver lace Polish roos. I have frizzle hens. And I'll just put those in there. Okay, I'm gonna check my temperature probe. It's right here. Make sure they're all in. So right now where the probe is, it says that it's 81.6. Forgot to put in my own thermometer gauge of the hydrometer. I'm going to set that right there. Okay. So in my garage, it was 77 degrees. In the hydrometer, I'm sorry, the regulator is slowly going up. I have it set for 99.5 to 100.5. I'm sure I'm gonna try something different with the eggs as I keep trying different things. This so far helped regulate the temperature, but that was without eggs, so. Once these eggs warm up to the 99.5, there's more mass inside of this fridge, so it won't take too much light to heat it up, and it won't have to turn off too much to cool it down. I tried it with a heat bulb. I tried it with an energy efficient LED bulb. The best thing that's worked is a clear 60 watt bulb. And then the clear C9 Christmas lights. I did try to put a fan at the bottom to shoot the air up. Didn't really make any difference. So as you can see, the regulator is going up. 92 so far. It might take a while because all these eggs are room temperature, so that would be about 
I think it was 76 in the house before I opened the windows. We'll let this warm up. And we'll go take a look at what I had to purchase to make this wine cooler incubator conversion. Here are the items that I purchased to do this conversion. The Will High WH1436 series digital thermometer controller and digital humidity controller. This thing is awesome. I have not set my humidity as I have a separate temperature gauge with a hydrometer, but I will. This porcelain ceiling lamp holder was $1.48, I believe, at Lowe's. This extension cord was $1.49 at Lowe's. This temperature controller was $30 on Amazon. I thought I was going to need heat lamps, which I have on hand for my chick brooders. However, it's too warm for this setup. So all together, I have $30, $1.50, and $1.50. So $33 plus tax and a little bit of elbow grease is all that I have in this conversion. Okay, looks like it's at 99.3. So it came on. So for my temperature in the top says 86. So the 99.5 now is going to be where that probe is by that light. 99.6. I'll continue to monitor this for the rest of the night. Watch the eggs. Make any modifications. Wish me luck. If you like this video, please go to my blog, freshandfancychick.blogspot.com and or you can join us at Broken Arrow Backyard Chickens on Facebook. We love talking to everybody. We love getting ideas, motivation, and I often do post videos. So you could like my YouTube. See, oh, there we go. Reached 100.5. From here in the past, it would continue to go up to 101.1, 101.3, then 101.5. See, the temperature's still going up because the heat's coming off the light bulbs. However, it's not that warm on the top yet. I've got to let that heat rise. Okay, temperature's dropping. It's gonna have to warm up all these eggs. Okay, got down to 99.8, kicked back on. So we'll give it a few hours. Check out the temperatures. I do have a backup plan. I do have my crappy styrofoam incubators that I could always transfer across my fingers make a wish so please join us at broken air backyard chickens or find me at fresh and fancy chick .com. i hope you enjoyed this i will post another video with step-by-step -step instructions and still shot video of all the steps we took thank you